Greetings to all my international friends from down south in Africa. Since coming back home from my time in Europe uh, to my beloved Cape Town, um, I just can't ignore the social situation I'm seeing around me anymore. It was really hard at first, um, but I started a process of real learning, which has been super positive. And I realized that a lot of the problems we have today are a result of the history that's gone past us. And it's a long history from slavery to colonialism to apartheid to the present day now. I also realize how lucky I am to be born into this life, this time, this beautiful place, and how many advantages I've been given. Advantages that I didn't really earn. I was just fortunate to be born into, but I definitely reap the benefits from. So I can't just sit around anymore and reap the good life anymore. With so much suffering around me, I feel it's time to use my skills, my networks, and these advantages that I've been gifted to do something. So I've started a non-profit organization called the Small Things Foundation. It's to be a platform for me to start activating my own ideas and creating ways for like-minded folks like you, maybe, to get involved. I believe most people care and would do more to help others, but often just don't know how. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to find simple, effective solutions and ways for people to do that. My first project has taken me a little while to find, but through my research and through my self-education, everything's just kind of lined up. And I'm really excited to start working with uh, a startup that's been happening in the shadows of my hood and around my surf camp in Musenberg. That's really close to my heart. It brings surfing and mentoring to the poorest kids adjacent to our community. It's fully roots. There's no corporate influence. Um, just surfboards and wetsuits available seven days a week, a hot meal and a shower open to anyone brave enough to leave the ghetto and walk through the doors. Nobody gets paid. Nobody pays to do so. It's just about the love of the ocean and care for the youth who are our future. On the 20th, we'll host an Inspire the Youth movie night for the boys and girls of Local Surf. And you can buy a virtual ticket to help make the event happen. Uh, you will also receive the movies that we're going to show in digital format, so you can check them out uh, at your own leisure. The event will open with a blessing from co-founder Shane, paying respect to this land and the proud heritage of the first people who walked it long before anybody else got here. Then we have respected elder and surf activist Cass Collier, who grew up in the same Cape Flats community with apartheid and racially segregated beaches, and despite all that, went on to become a big wave world champion. Cass will introduce his groundbreaking film, Taking Back the Waves. Then we show we have current rising star on the world stage, Jose Faulkner, who hails from a very tough neighborhood, Pelsaris, just next to J-Bay. And he was making big name in Hawaii and around the world with his high performance and balls to the wall surfing. He'll tell his story and show his internationally acclaimed movie, Everything to Me. Our final film, we end off with homegrown talent, Paul Sampson, who learned to surf on these very beaches through programs not dissimilar to what we're trying to do here. He's become a super talent with even greater potential, and he will share his very sick high performance edit um, with the crew. On the night, the youth will be fed a hearty veg stew and have a space to chat with their heroes before we take them all home. Help us help these young surfers. Children are innocent victims of adult actions. Be part of changing things. If we each do a little, a lot can be done. All funds raised are administered by Small Things Foundation Nonprofit Org, primarily to cover the rent of the club, 
but if we manage to raise some more, it's going straight into our mini ramp skate, skate fund. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to support what we're doing, you can buy a virtual ticket for 100 Rand. Works out to about 5 euros, the price of an expensive cup of coffee. And that'll help us keep doing what we're doing down here. Thanks so much.